Hey everybody, welcome to Final Fantasy V, a playthrough I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to be posting this up on Zero Friction, uh, a site I have on retro and indie gaming. It's zero-friction.com. And uh, I'm excited to play through this. Sorry about the noise. I hope my voice doesn't get drowned out too much. Now, if you, for anybody astute enough, you'll notice that uh, the graphics are enhanced, uh, and maybe in the in the um, comment section or you know in the description box below, I'll go ahead and uh, put what I did. But basically, I enhanced it to make it sharper and brighter. I wanted, I love um, the nostalgia that old retro games bring, but I'm not, I'm not in the camp necessarily of trying to recreate the exact feel, like having the old um, scan lines uh, and the smoothness that you get, that, that smoothing blurring that you get from the old ones on the old CRT monitors. But I uh, do like pixels. I like pixels a lot. And so I try to enhance them. I try to make sure they were all crisp and kind of um, separate. Like you could see a clear delineation between the pixels. And, and I bumped up the brightness a lot. And so I hope you like it. I really love how the enhancement turned out. So... Um, hopefully, uh, it makes for a really enjoyable experience. Plus, uh, I'm trying to record it in 1080, so you should be, I mean, right away you can see how the little guy running across the screen, I forgot which character that is, uh, running across the screen. You can see how his, the individual pixels that make him up are easily identifiable. And you can even see that in the text, in this text window with the letters, um, like in memory card slot. Mm. So we're gonna start a new game and just jump right in. I'm going to set my timer while we're waiting here too. They're, they always do such a great job with the music. So for anyone um, wondering, this is a story, I think his name is Bartz. Uh, this is a game, first of a little background for me, I this is one of the games, it's kind of odd, I remember playing it a lot uh, and the whole way through, but oddly enough, I don't remember the game. The story, the details, I just don't remember it. Uh, the synopsis is basically uh, the early Final Fantasies always kind of dealt with crystals, like the crystals of power, like wind, earth, and water, and that, that stuff. And, uh, oh, I forgot, I, I wasn't paying attention now. The king here is going to check on the wind crystal. And you play Bartz, uh, a guy wandering, I don't know, he's an adventurer, I guess, wandering around, uh, witnesses a, witnesses a meteor, or a meteorite hit the earth, and then things start going wonky, you'll see here.
uh, here, this is Ferris. Of course, now we know the wind has stopped. Something's wrong going, you know, with the wind crystal and the wind. I'd better hurry. The wind has stopped. Old man. Who I'm sure we'll find out his real name later on. This is Reyna. She's a princess. The wind stopped. I hope father is all right. It's so ominous, isn't it? The you know, sound was very important. Well, it, it sound has never not been important, in my opinion. No, Psh. Ah, so now we meet the protagonist. Ah, oh, with this faithful little chocobo. And I don't know about um, any of you watching, uh, where do you stand in the Chocobo Chocobo um, camp? Oh, here it is. He was so environmentally conscious to uh, scratch dirt on the fire to put it out, don't you think? Okay, here we are. We're controlling our... Riding our chocobo. Oh, there it is. Tycoon Meteor. It's funny they decided to name it right away. Wait here, Boko. Yeah, years ago I'd heard that uh, uh, the creator or some of the designers on the game had uh, had officially uh, pronounced the name as Chocobo. Uh, but as you know, in the West, a lot of people always just said Chocobo, and I still just say Chocobo. No. Oh. Ooh, our first fight. Goblins. So this is, I believe, um... Yeah, what what did they used to call this? A, a, a form of real-time combat? Because we wait for our meter to fill up, and then we can go again. But if we kept waiting, we'd, we'd probably get hit. 20 gold points! You all right? We don't know our name yet, I guess. I guess we could rename ourselves, right? But I think by default his name is Bart's, I thought. Let's see. Maybe it has it filled in. No, it doesn't, does it? Well, I love using the name Mobley. So let's just do that. End. Call me Mobley. Me and Boko just ride wherever the trail takes us. We're wild and free.
wonder if this has anything to do with the wind. I'm almost certain it does. I'd really like to do something to show my appreciation. But you see, right now I'm in a hurry. Hey, wait a minute. Hear what? Uh, uh. Someone's hurt, I think. Help me, yep. Oh no. Over there. Oh. Over here. There he is, old man. Oh, does he have amnesia? So, it's kind of interesting. It's just, like I said a little bit ago, I played, I remember playing this game all the time, but I don't remember the, almost any details of the story. Maybe I'll remember as we play, but really I have almost zero recollection of anything from this game, except the one thing I do strongly remember is simply the, uh, the uh, job system. Ah, Galoof or Galuf. I'm gonna say Galuf. And that's all. Can't remember anything else. Alright, we'll call him Galuf. Raina, Mobley, and Galuf. The Wind Shrine. <gasps> Oh, he freaked out. Windrun! I think that's where I was going too. <laughs> well, I don't know. You gotta take me with you. Okay. What about you, Mowgli? I'll just keep traveling. Cause I'm wild and free. Like the wind. Ironically, the wind has stopped blowing. Goodbye, Godspeed. Oh, okay. So, old MMOs and that might have had, like, s secrets, like I just found. There's a treasure chest, so there must be a way over here. Somehow. Awesome. Oh, we got a Phoenix down, and Phoenix down uh, is like resurrection, right? So, again, just I I keep bringing it back up, but I'm I really I hope you like the graphics uh, filters that I chose. I I really do. I know it, some people might be like, "Ooh, that's ugly," because it's all like. You know, but I loved it. I, pu I I wanted to really accentuate the pixels and the color, and I think I did. Where was where was I? Down here? Is it down here? Wait, how? Oh, here we go. Yes. Can I run? Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, that's good. Let's go, Boko. We need to go be wild and free. So let's go this way. I think there's some sound issues, unfortunately. Oh, that's unfortunate. Having a little. Hopefully, I can work on work that out. <gasps> oh, he he stopped and I flew off. Oh my head! What are you stopping so fast for? What's the big idea? You hear? I wonder why it's doing that. Let me try turning the volume down in the game a little bit. That's unfortunate. Don't give me that. Look. Work, work, work. Ah, 
I know, you're worried about the old man and the young girl. Oh no! Oh, Raina was like, help! And the old man was like, oh, come on, Bogo! Or now, what do we, but we can't go back. We have to go forward now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let me see, I think if we wait, yeah, he'll get, he'll just keep attacking if we wait. That's what I thought. But there's no meter to show when he, his next attack, so. Ooh, again to level. Alright, let's go. No! Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I suppose that might get monotonous to some people. The that fast-paced, harried action music. All right. I <laughs> like we're picking them up. Let's go! Oh, jeez. You know, in the early days, that would be a little intense because. We were used to a very specific way of playing these games, like on the Super Nintendo and even before that on the Nintendo or uh, on the early, on the very first PlayStation, uh, you know, just early console generations. And you kind of learn how the game plays. And, and so little things like that while, while I'm in control of the Chocobo running and then I'll and then a hole opens up can be scary because we're like, oh my gosh, is, is, do I need to hurry up and make a sudden action to affect whether I live or die? Well, he hit his head again, maybe, and so maybe he got his memory back. I don't like that audio uh, problem. You might have to check the audio settings, see if I can fix that before uh, the next episode. Landslides, huge cracks in the earth, the road to t tools, tools, tools? Completely destroyed. Must be the next town over. Or kingdom. We have to hurry to the wind shrine. Oh, oh. <laughs> It, the early Final Fantasies always did an excellent job with writing, too. Well, all of them did, really, up until... I think they all did pretty great up until even 10, when I kind of stopped playing Final Fantasies just because... So... Then I think I'd better get along, too. Really? My dad's dying wish was for me to travel the world. Oh, that's why he lives wild and free. Besides, the wind's calling me. What? <laughs> I was just getting to this. They always. I was just about to say how they always put in a lot of humor and did great with the writing and humor and everything. <laughs> what a bunch of crap. You know, it's just because you got the hots for her. Y you could tell? <laughs> Well, he admits it right off the bat, too. Everyone can tell, bright boy. See, they always did excellent jobs with the story, the uh, writing. But how are we going anywhere with the road out? I don't know. There must be a way. She's right. Okay, let's go. That's kind of funny. It's like, we don't know of a way there. And someone says, there must be a way. I'm like, okay. <laughs> let's go. Yay. Boko is even in agreement. He's at work, work. All right, I guess we go forward. 
Oh, we have to go through a cave. Oh my gosh. Wait, can we save? Because I just want to save and make sure here. Oh, oh that's... We can save. That was a previous one, a previous test I did. That I don't remember having sound problems. Because I, I want each of these episodes to be a, a kind of on the short side. I know, it, it extends the whole series, but... Uh, I just have this thing about video length. Um, I don't think we can save when we're in an area. So, that's why I wanted to save right there, because I think there's an area here. I didn't know there was a cave here. It probably came out in the last quake. Wait here, Boko. It's dangerous ahead. You know, Boko might work. Boko might be able to save his life before he could save Boko's. Okay, now this might have random encounters in here. Oh no! Like spring? Oh, cool. This is, I think, a healing spring. Oh no! Yep, random encounters. First strike. Ooh, that wasn't... Oh yeah, that's right. Awesome. I finished them off before they got hit on me. I am using a controller, by the way. Um, it's just a USB, a third-party USB controller. Yeah, awesome. Woohoo! Oh, and look, okay, as soon as that, I get into a an encounter. Uh-oh, back attack. Yeah, definitely some audio error going on, unfortunately. I'm gonna see if I can't fix that. I know I said it like five times now. This should finish them off. See, I just love how colorful the pixels are and how they brought out. All right, rain again to level, and and Galif too. Should I bother healing again? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's it. I'm just gonna keep going after this battle. Unless I get, like, uh-oh, maybe not. Unless I get seriously damaged, which I might. Yeah, I might actually definitely want to, uh, heal after this. <laughs> I think I know what the problem is. Uh, it's a it's a setting between Bandicam uh, and the game, causing causing um, this like a slowness. I think they're both trying to pull like maximum abilities uh, uh, out of my PCU. P oh, PCU, sorry. <laughs> like, what am I saying? I think that's what's going on here. Uh, I think it's an it's an issue of kind of some kind of load thing. All right. Oh, I can't I can't even get to the next room. That's all right. We farmed a little bit. Wow. 
mega hit. Wow, that's a, even a bigger mega hit. Dun -dun. And there's the famous victory music. Uh, one, just one of the many things Final Fantasy is so famous for. Alright, this I think is an error, in gra a graphical error, so I apologize for this. I think the whole screen was meant to be black, and I was supposed to be able to have limited visibility, but it's not working that way. So if we can get through this cave area, and if it lets us save, I'm going to save, and that will be the end of this first episode, because uh, I think that would make a good saving point without making the episode one too terribly long. I need to double check Bandicam for sure, because... At times, it sh it's resting at like 60 frames per second, and I'm almost positive I set it for 30. So, that's... something's going on there. Wow. Rain and Galoof, we leveled again. Da -da -da -da. I need to get that. Church chest. Oh, it's back there. I have to go through the... Okay, whoops. All right. <laughs> okay, another fight. I'm leveling up pretty fast, so... so... I think. All right, we'll finish this guy off. So the job system in this game, um, is pretty. F oh, oh, a pirate! The pirate, actually, I know. I remember this now, just from the last play session. I played up until the point of after this cave. Ugh, that sound is awful. I'm, uh, again, I can't apologize enough for this. It shouldn't be doing this. Uh, I will do my best to fix it before the next episode. Leather cap. So we should be able to put this on. Let's get out of here. All right. Oh, we want to equip head leather cap. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome. We've donned the leather cap. Yeah, I'm getting some slowdown. It's some kind of load creating. I don't know if it's a mem some kind of memory problem or what. I should be able to, it's probably something I can figure out before next episode and, and get fixed. So let's just ride it out until the end of this episode, which is, we sh hopefully right as soon as we get through the cave, we can save it. Can't see it now. Did I go the wrong way? Oh goodness. This is gonna keep extending time by minutes.
Alright, we got that one out of the way. He's not hitting for very much. I think he definitely needs a weapon. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That's alright, it was nice to... I call it farming. Uh, it was nice to farm... Uh, a little bit. Wow. Another encounter already. We'll just keep doing these encounters. I'm pretty sure the exit's up, up above. Oh, I think uh, I wasn't paying attention. It was uh, had to do with that pirate, isn't it? I'm already kind of being brain dead. I'm getting so sidetracked because I, I'm just personally getting un bothered by the fact that I'm having problems, technical problems, after I did a test and had no problems. That's what I, that's my, here was the issue right here. There it is, okay. And what's nice is, if you select the same enemy for everybody, and attack, and the one person kills the enemy, it will automatically reassign your next uh, party member's attack to the next enemy. Which is kind of nice. That was always nice. Okay, I think we have this other area here. Uh oh, what's that? Hmm. How can a ship sail without any wind? Uh, quite mysterious. That is true. Maybe they have oars <laughs> and they're all paddling. Of course, maybe they saw they saw sails like as if it was was running on wind. Maybe that's what they saw. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, rain! Ah, oh, yes, more levels. Awesome. And we no longer have our uh, weird black circle around us, but we do still have the audio problems. Okay, pirate land. Okay, I... Oh, no! Ah. Oh, look at... He wanted to peek out real quick. Get a peek with that. This must be a pirate hideout, which means that ship was one of theirs. Think they'd give us a ride? What? Are you nuts? They're pirates for... <laughs> what are we gonna do? Waltz on board? No, sneak on. What? You know, you're pretty gutsy for an old timer. Ha ha ha. Alright, we're gonna try to sneak on to the pirate ship. See, nope, we cannot save, so we have to go forth. Can't save here. What does this do? What did that do? I'm guessing it was over here. Somewhere out of sight. Is it right here? What did, what did that do? 
I wonder if that's a secret on a previous screen? There's something- oh, it can't- they're sleeping. So we can't go up there. Alright, well, let's get on the ship. Can we, wait, this is going down into the hold. Bum, bum, bum. Locked. Ooh, there might be something cool in there. Okay. Do we fight this guy? Oh, check it out. I'm going to go to bed. All this pirates here. Maybe if I hide in bed, he'll never notice. Um, yes, Captain. Fix the rudder and helms. Ready, mumble. There must be another hold. Where did we come from? Here? Oh, right here. There must be another hold. Over here. Where's the... I think that's the only hold. Where can we hide? I'm forgetting. I thought I did this. There's something I missed down here. Are there other doors hiding? Let's go back in here, see what's up. We must have missed something in here. Something, something I'm missing here. Check in here again. Alright, let's try to. Yeah, see, there's a slowdown going on. Maybe it is record. Maybe. Let's try going back here somewhere. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you know what? Maybe that opens up. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! I didn't do that before. Okay. That was. Well, that arguably was not some idea. Maybe it opens up that path over here. Does it open? Hmm. Do you see another stair? Another stairwell. Maybe it was the bed. Maybe I totally forgot about this. What else is in? Let's try the bed. I don't know what else to do except try the bed. It's not. What was I? What am I missing? I can't even remember now. It's probably insanely simple, right?
Okay. Let's try on here. Let's try to be systematic about this. Ah, oh, here's what I had to do. Go to the wheel, of course. What's the matter? No good, won't budge an inch. Avast, what are you doing for? Yar. Uh oh, it's Ferris. He doesn't look happy. Jar, you got courage trying to steal me ship out from under me own nose. Wait, I'm Princess Raina. Oh, just tell her, like, just tell a pirate that you're a princess <laughs> right off the bat. See, they knew it too. You're a, uh, well, they didn't know she was a princess. Please lend us your ship. My father's in grave danger. Ha 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 ha. Oh ho, a plea now is it in front of a princess? Char, tis me lucky day. I'm gonna be rich. Stop. Please, I beg of you. Whoa, there's a shiny. That pendant. That pendant. Cast them in irons, a lot of them. I guess that's what's in that room. Nothing. No, well, now us. Great. Whose idea was it anyhow to steal a blank pirate ship? Blankety blank. Yours, you old psycho! <laughs> Oi, my head. I don't remember a thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice time. <laughs> oh, I love it. I still can't get over Raina being a princess. I didn't mean to hide it. Why are we going to the wind shrine alone? My father's there. I felt something bad was going to happen, so I slipped out of the castle. Then the meteorite hit, and... And it's night now. Scene end. <laughs> Scene start. Dar, the princess of Tycoon had that same had the same pendant as me own. Ooh, that's that's mysterious. Whoop. I said her father would be at the wind shrine. Ah, could it be? Set sail for the wind shrine. Whoop. Yoink! Oh, <laughs> Wait, what will you do? You, what will you do with these land lubbers, Captain? Release them. Yoink! Be quick about it. Thank you so much, but why? You're working for me now. Any complaints? Plinker, we sail for the wind shrine. Are you deaf or just stupid? Do it as your captain commands. I can't hear ya! Aye, 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 sir. Oh, he's heading up to the, um, what's that called? That lookout. The bird's nest? But there's no wind! Dory! You're hollow as you are pretty, my lass. Hydra, introduce yourself to the princess. Uh-oh, check this out. Boom! Giant, uh, giant water... Whoa, giant water dragon. Ooh. 
I think you now. Raised together like brothers, what were we? Closer mates you have. Never seen. Kiss off! Okay, I don't, I have no idea where to go now. Uh, oh, another scene. Shall I sail your sailor to the wind shrine for you? Yes. That's mighty nice of you. <laughs> He's like, da -da -da -da. He's like, let's go. This is on autopilot now. It's very, very nice. Awesome. And we just press up to get back on land. And we're at the Wind Shrine. Dun, 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 dun. I think this is a good place to, to save and end the first uh, video. Next, we're at the Wind Shrine. That, that's our next... Uh, whoops. That's our next move here. Yes. Save data. So that does it for episode one. I'm sorry about all the, the issues with the audio, but I'm going to work on that. Uh, we met we met Ferris. Let's see, we've got Mowgli, Reyna, Galuff, and Ferris now. We're at the Wind Shrine, and we got the mysteries of, of Reyna and Ferris uh, not knowing each other, but having identical pendants. Mowgli's just, you know, he's wild and free because he promised his dad he would be. And Gallif is an old man who was who was doing some kind of funny business with with something concerning the wind. It was related to the wind stopping and whatnot. Uh, and he likes to pretend he he likes to fall back on his forgetfulness as an excuse. <laughs> but uh, that'll do it for this episode. I'll see everybody in the second episode when we go into the wind shrine.